So I wanted to answer the person that left a comment under one of my videos. So I did see a comment. I did reference that you need to use some psalms. Um, and this is the psalm book I'm referencing. Um, it's actually upside down, guys. I'm going to try it again. The Power of Psalms. I also use another Psalms book, um, and I'll, I'll put it, I'll put it at the end of this video, um, and it's Psalms asking for, um, someone to have favor on you, and that would be more a better book for you, um, because you're asking for favor. Now, I do want to, um, specify and speak a little bit more in depth about um, what I what I believe what I gathered from the comment now I could be completely wrong um, but what I got from the comment is that the job is downsizing and numerous people are being laid off and you seem like you are in a great amount of fear so I wanted to address that. Now, when you are in a situation where you're trying to control how you want life to be for you, you need to make sure that your frequency and your vibration is extremely high so you can actually get it to play out the way you want it to play out. Now, I don't know if you watch any of my other videos before, and this channel may be very taboo for you if you are a religious person, because I do not teach religion. I literally teach spirituality. And um, some of the things that I may say may be um, very taboo if you are a religious person. Now, in, in on my channel, we don't operate in fear. We can't. We can't afford to operate in fear. And for many reasons, fear lowers the frequency. It lowers the vibration. And, um, you know, fear comes in different levels, right? So you could have fear within your own subconscious mind where you're just scared and you're just believing that you're going to get terminated. Or fear could come in from the way you speak. Um, if you constantly talk about it and you're just like, you know, I don't know what I'll do if, if I don't have this job or you can operate from fear by your actions, um, just being very nervous. So you want to stay in, in a high frequency and you want to make sure your frequency is high so it doesn't align with negativity so negativity would be you losing the job and there's no stability there's no security and what of experience you may feel because we live in a world where we have to pay bills um, you this may be a very big setback for you so um, you want to maintain having a very high frequency during this time now I did recommend you using the Psalms and um, the Psalm book that I recommend, just keep in mind it's two Psalm books. This is the power of Psalms. And this one is a little bit different. It's not a Hebrew book. The other one I'm gonna um, recommend for you is a Kabbalah um, Psalms book. And the reason why I'm recommending that Kabbalah Psalms book is a totally different makeup of this book. Keep in mind that because so many people use these books, these books hold a great amount of energy. So when you go towards the book, you have to go towards the book with that intention of believing that when I say this, I say this with the power of tapping into this energy that everybody else tapped into this energy and everybody else got what they were asking for. And now I need you, God, to give me what I'm asking for and help me and, 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 and stuff. So this is how you have to go there. Like you found... Um, like knowledge, the information, the, the... 
So this is the mindset you need to have when you're actually trying to achieve your goal. Now, you could up it up a notch and really look at the the moon phase and then you will know how to use your prayers, right? You will know how to angle your prayers. Now, you need to do some visualization and meditation, believing and seeing yourself of your not being terminated. Um, you may need to use candles, light a candle and sit over the candle and talk your intentions within the candle. Um, and you may need to use white. You may need to use um, green for success. You may need to tap into the energies if you are a person who constantly watch my channel. You may need to use the, the knowledge that I have provided so you can swing it back into the direction that you wanted to swing back in. Um, you know, when it comes down to destiny, it's tricky because sometimes we fight for things and that might not be the direction that we're supposed to go. We may we may need sometimes um, for us to allow destiny to happen. And, you know, I've been in a lot of experience in my early career. Right now, I'm pretty stable with, with how I want my life to be. Um, although I do feel like there's more room and growth that I will want to be in um, but my early career when I was much younger and I was in my um, late 20s early 30s I um, was a person who was you know working and I, I literally I don't think I ever been in a job in my early in my 20s and 30s um, in a in a job that I want like I started in HR um, more than a year because I I kind of like bounce from job to job and there was some experiences that I went through where sometimes the job I didn't feel like the job was the right fit for me um, and I remember being in jobs where I had bosses and I was just like really frustrated with the boss and um, I did so many different rituals on the job to balance the energy in the job and at one point I had to let go of this job. I had a boss, she was really mean. Um, when I came in the job, um, she didn't like me. I had a master's in HR. She had a, I don't even think she had a degree and she was a director at that time. And they wanted to give me a managerial um, position um, to run the location in the Bronx. And when I got there, they end up giving me a recruiter position and they had me work underneath her. Um, and I guess for somehow they claimed that I was gonna just work underneath her and then I will eventually go to the Bronx. Um, when I got there, she just didn't stomach me. She didn't like me. I was I was coming from a, a much larger firm, a recruiter firm. And, um, you know, the owner, um, because it was a smaller company, he had took interest in me because I was coming from a, a, a firm that he had rivalry with one of the VPs. So um, by the time I got there, like this lady would always be on my back. I remember one time I'm like photocopying somebody's social um, degree and she came in and she was like shuffling the papers and all of a sudden the person's degree, social, IDs is missing it's not there like and that day she just came to visit and I don't know where this person's uh, documents is and I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking but I don't want to let her know that I can't find the person's stuff and they went to an, um, a training class at that day it was a nurse and um, I'm scared like I'm really scared this lady stuck around like she was waiting for me to go to her and tell her that I couldn't find the stuff. Um, and I remember just jumping and just doing so much psalms, doing a dominance on her. Um, and I'll tell you guys about that another time. Compelling, you know, I had my oils and I did all kind of stuff. And before like about 20 minutes went by, like I said, she was sticking around hoping that I would go.
hope and I will go to her and let her know that the documents is missing. And um, like about 20 minutes later, I found it. You know where I found it? I found it in a plastic bag with in between flyers that we give to the nurses when they do their training. And it was obvious she came over, shuffled the papers around and put it in there and hid it where she could find it back. And I can um, go to her and say, I don't have it. So this, this is an opportunity for me to be terminated. And I went through a whole lot. Like there was times I felt like I was going to be terminated because I felt like she was always looking for a reason. Um, and I would do, again, I would do a lot of dominance on her, controlling, compelling, um, so I could keep my job. But what ended up happening, it was like, literally two, three months, things would get like, you know, a little bit like cooler. And then the next two, three months will go back again. I remember one time I, I came to the job with a seal so I can bind the job to me. Um, and it had got to the point where I was putting a lot of energy. I was, I was literally being exhausted. And at that time, I was like, mm, my very early 30s, probably like 30, 31, 32, something around there. Um, I, I just couldn't think it anymore. I actually um, decided to resign. I just quit. I gave up. And I say this to say this because I am who I am to this day because I decided to walk away from that job and started a whole different career because I actually went into social service and then I went back to HR. I'm in, I'm in HR again, but I'm actually working. Um, I work for social, a social service um, organization, but I'm in HR. So... I say this to say this, sometimes, and I don't know what your situation is, I don't know what your circumstances is, and I could judge off of you commenting that you're in desperate need, you're in desperate help, and, um, but sometimes, it's for us to have different opportunities in life, different doors are opening for us, and everything sometimes when one door closes, never always the worst. Sometimes when a door closes, always a door can be open. And you can always open the door. Remember that. You can always open the door that gets closed. Never think it's at the end of the world because a door closed. Because you can open the door. If you stick to my channel, you'll see that you can open doors for yourself. It's never written in stone that things will never work out for you. It's all about your mindset. What you believe, how you believe, what you attract. That's, that's how it goes. It's what you're attracting, right? So if you believe this is it, like, you know, this is the only job that I, I can have and what I'm supposed to do now, that mindset is already a negative mindset. Because if this is the end of this road, then you need to create a new road immediately so you don't experience the end of the road. I worked at um, Columbia and um, I worked. I worked there as um, I had worked for a very short time. I think I was like in my twenties, and I was doing like temporary work. And I was at this assignment, and um, one of the ladies who it was me and this guy we worked underneath her. She was really like. During, like, you know, a lot of temporary positions, they want you to have at least two years' experience. And um, I naturally tap into energy all the time and create things and pull things to my destiny. And I had pulled this job to my destiny. At that time, I didn't really have HR experience. I had only did HR in retail. And now I'm doing, this was do HR in for, um, for this job. And the person who we was under the supervision of, she was a bit mean. She was a young woman. She was very near to my age. 
and so one time we had this assignment and she didn't really explain how she wanted the assignment to, to be and um, and they don't really train um, for like temper like I said for like contract work um, they kind of want you to have two years experience but this was a new project this was an assignment and um, this specific job I actually did it wrong and I remember her coming in the room and yelling and going off on me like I was a little child like I was a little girl and um, you know I answered her you know I said you didn't tell me what you wanted from me um, and um, she just went off and I kind of like backed her up I so one time we had this assignment and she didn't really explain how she wanted the assignment to, to be and um, and they don't really train um, for like temper like I said for like contract work um, they kind of want you to have two years experience but this was a new project this was an assignment and um, this specific job I actually did it wrong and I remember her coming in the room and yelling and going off on me like I was a little child like I was a little girl and um, you know I answered her you know I said you didn't tell me what you wanted from me um, and um, she just went off and I kind of like backed her up. I checked her. I'm like, listen, you can speak to me, but the way you're speaking to me, I'm not going to listen to somebody speak down to me. So I suggest if you want to talk to me, you talk to me in the right way. So I guess she didn't like what I said. So I was on my way going home and I got to the train station. So I'm about to jump on the next train. And the um, agency that I work for was like, you know, um, we're not going to be able to continue you on this assignment. And the assignment has ended. And I remember asking, like, you know, what happens now? And she was like, well, you know, if I have something else, I'll call you and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay. You know, and I, I was so disappointed. I was hurt. I was really, like, pissed off. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I should have just got yelled at. Um... And in that situation, you know, I went back and I went on Indeed, I went on ZipRecruiter, I went on Career Builder, I went on Monster, and I, when I told you, I literally sent out a hundred resumes out on each one of them, and I'm not even gonna lie, I got terminated on the Thursday, I was back working on the Monday. Your destiny, if it's destined to play out that way, that means you need to create what you need to create in order for you not to be out of the job. And if if this is the job that you want to be in, then you need to create a way to literally have favor so your name don't get called. And that's why I recommended the Psalms Kabbalah book. Because those, those Psalms and that book has a lot of favor songs like one five four stops bad luck um i'm thinking two two you could do two for favor um there's a psalm in there i'm trying to remember where it is um it corresponds with slander you need to go through that book and everywhere it says slander and even if you feel like oh that doesn't match me the reason why you want to make sure you're controlling the energy on slander you don't want your name to be pulled into any name that's being laid off um you can even if you know all the boss's name you can do a fire elemental um commanding and controlling um, for them not to say your name 
you wouldn't be able to save everybody with you because you are in your own micro that person will have to put in their own work as well you are um, you will have to have so, your magnetic field and your energy will have to be so strong for you to operate on your macro for you for you to operate on a macro energy for you to save every staff member in there when they're downsizing because you know and I know that if they're downsizing that means they don't have the resources to pay for everyone's paycheck so there's going to be a layoff now the question is are you going to look for another job or you want to stay in this job now if you want to stay in this job then you need to create that magnetic field of a protection energy are you willing to use every method because methods comes with invocation contacting angels are you are you open to do dominating spells like controlling commanding um compelling um is that what you're willing to do are you willing to just use songs or is that you willing to use are you willing to use oils are you willing to use candles so these are the things that you got to sit back and think about what what direction do you want to go because there's so many different ways that somebody can actually buying a job to them but is that something that you want to do do you want to buy a job or do you want to create a stability a safe place where you have a job that you are stable and there's security and even if you bind a job let's say you bind a job two months and you was able to hold the two job two months if if it's a downsize would the job eventually four months down the line come back again where they still making cuts so these are the things that you got to sit back down and think about doing but the first thing you need to do is you need to get rid of the fear so i would recommend you to start saying so i'm 91 so i'm 69 so i'm 35 um so i'm 86 to work on removing the fear, removing the vibration of a level of that frequency because when we th when we think about quantum physics and we think about what's in our subconscious mind and what's what's in our thoughts, what's what's um what are the words that's coming out your mouth and what is the actions? Are you you acting in fear? Are you talking about it in fear? Are you thinking about it in fear? You're going to create a lower frequency for yourself and then your name can be caught up in the, the names with everybody else to be laid off um, and that was one of the reasons why I said you know what I, if I was you I would try to attract a new job now when I mention dominating controlling and compelling and commanding there's different methods that people use in order to bind a job to them um, and you may, and if this is the job that you want to stay at, you may need to bind the job to you. But if binding the job to you would only last about two to three months, and then you will have to bind again. Um, so you know you have to really think about what do you really want, what are you really trying to achieve when you um, with the whole job, like. Are you trying to keep this job? You know, so these are the things that you... So this is, this is the only options I have for you. If you're going to um, say prayers, you know, you can buy the Kabbalah Magic, um, Psalms Kabbalah Magic, and it's, it's recommended in one of my other...